But anyway, you were able to obtain 83 mammoth, Colombian mammoth molars from this yeah. site. And you extracted the DNA from the molar. And you were able to generate 61 mitogenomes. Now, how do you extract DNA from a molar? Why do you target molars? Sure. So first, why do we target molars? So we have to think that DNA, as any other organic matter, degrades in time. What is better preserved are lipids and amino acids. And DNA, unless you're working with samples that are from the permafrost from Earth, and that's Siberia, it's, it's highly degraded. One of my colleagues has this saying, and I like it a lot, that he says that DNA, ancient DNA is like ice cream. It preserves really well in, in dry and cold environments and really poorly in, in hot and warm environments. So you have to go, if you know this, and you're working with samples that are from tropical latitudes, you have to go for osteological remains that, that you have previous knowledge that would better preserve DNA. Even if, if you're not working with, with samples from those latitudes, you always want to get as much DNA as possible. What of the, which kind of osteological remains are these? Well, these remains are the ones that, that sort of encapsulates DNA from the environment. Because one of the things that degrades DNA is the microorganisms that colonize the, the tissue and the organic matter after an organism dies. So teeth, Petrous bone and, for instance, very dense and compact bones are the ideal sources for the DNA because microorganisms will have a harder time coming in. So we had that in mind. Most of my time and, and prior to this study, I used to work with, with humans. Mm. That's, that's where I did my training, my, my PhD, my, mostly my postdoc and, and also other projects that I'm running here in Mexico. So we knew, we knew that, that teeth and molars were a good source of DNA. So we aimed to get DNA from the mammoths. And this was a good idea as well, because in that way, we could make sure that we were analyzing different individuals. So if we always aim for the same molar in different mm -hmm. individuals, let's say that like the right molar from the mandible, then we were making sure that we were not sampling several from, mm -hmm. from the same Interesting. animal. 